Welcome to 1340, new decade. Very exciting. Um, we are just finished with the 1330s and I am very happy with how this is going so far. I'm so excited that you guys like it. And, um, you know, please let me know if you have any suggestions or anything. I am kind of recording ahead, but um, I could definitely use any of it. So I'm thank you <laughs> for commenting and stuff. So I'm very happy with how things are going. And the last one, we got Ethelred married to Alice Walter. So she's now the... Uh, lady of the Walter house. We um, had Matilda lost another baby. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there. She's just not having any luck. We aged up Bjorn and he rolled not to marry. So he's going to go become a pirate. We also aged up Randy and she rolled <laughs> to be evil. And then lastly, we have Milo, who is now with Cecilia. Now, Cecilia was found injured in the woods by Milo, and she wouldn't say what happened, but didn't have anywhere to go, so he let her stay, and they eventually found love and got married. Um, and I'm pretty sure she's pregnant. So that is very exciting for us, marriage and babies. I, I was trying to get them pregnant again, but it just was not happening. So yeah, we'll try again later. And Ethelred is pregnant, I believe. So yeah, everything is going pretty well. Oh, you know what? I I didn't even do a thing for them. <laughs> so let's do that right now. We have Milo Leifson. He is with Cecilia Leifson, who uh, used to be at Axtell. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, yes, very exciting. Now we have two people in Gen 3 that are married. Very exciting. And I think that's it for last year. This year, wait, I just straight up didn't fix this. So let me do that. Actually, we don't even need these. I only keep them around if, if I, you know, there's something there that I need. Um, they're just hidden. They still exist. So we are going to have Bjorn leave us today to become a pirate. He will have some stuff happen in his life while he's gone, and then he'll come back and we'll have a little story thing for him, and then maybe he'll go again. We'll see. Um, like I said, the baby died. It died at like midnight. So um, we need to find out if Margaret will make it to child. And then Madalena, uh, William's wife, I don't know if you remember her. She's over here, William's wife. They have one kid is rolling to become an adult. Later, we'll have the twins, Maggie's twins, potentially age up. And then our Revna might be becoming a teenager. So hopefully she can get married. Also, Hugo the fourth. So let's roll now for Margaret, nine or 19. Okay, good. Oh, I was nervous. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Um, seven years, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Margaret, will she marry? Who knows? And then we have, uh, we have to get a nine or higher. Okay. Yes. Um, so Madalena does survive and for how long, how long roll it? Eight years. That's a long time. Good. One. Okay. Well, we know that Margaret was at seven. So eight will be um, Madalena Bennett dies. Okay. All right. So I think that's it. Yes. Uh, two more years before the soldiers roll. So we are doing pretty good. Let's hop into the game. Okay, let's first move Bjorn into his own place. Even though he's not old enough to get married, he's old enough to move out. Why not? So we put a little pirate ship on the beach here in Italy. So we will just move him there and then go back to our house. We have to roll for Margaret. So we'll do that. And... Um, it's already late in the morning because I was trying to get 
Matilda pregnant again, but it just wasn't working. So we gave up on that. But Margaret is now um, older. And then I also forgot to put a picture of Cecilia in blue in the family tree. So I changed that as well. And then uh, we're just going to find a hairstyle for Margaret. I wanted to use the same one, so that's what I did. And then we'll put her in these nice blue outfits. I'm trying to pick like a little bit of a different outfit every time for each different sim, but I don't really have that much CC that works, especially like not only do I need CC that's medieval, but also for poor people. <laughs> so then we obviously are going back to our house to complete uh, our daily stuff. Um, we can't really do any of that stuff because, like I said, it was late getting here. Oh. Oh, 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 someone's pregnant. Someone is pregnant. There she is. Okay. I am really excited about that. I mean, I don't want to do the same thing I did with Agnes and have like so, so, so many kids that are really young at the same time. So I'm just going to kind of let it happen naturally. I'm letting them woohoo when they want to, like when they need to get their fun up. And I'm hoping that that strategy works a little better with spreading the kids out a little more because I do want them to still like have a healthy woohoo life in their marriage instead of, um, you know, just only doing it to make a baby. <laughs> anyway, uh, she needs to discover a religion because everybody worships me. That's the rule. Oh, okay. Let's roll one more baby. Ethelred's baby. And it did survive, so we are happily having um, a boy, and I named him Morris. So that will be good for the Walter family. They now have a son. Everybody loves those boys. And then we'll just, yep, okay. I don't know how I missed some of the birthdays on the <laughs> spreadsheet. I just, like, straight up missed them. Everything's fine. Um, okay. Everybody needs to get their stuff done. Since he, he's feeling pretty good, I'm thinking that we're going to send him hunting because I want him to, you know, be able to cook some of those meals that include meat and stuff like that. So I am going to start sending him hunting a little more often just so that we can make sure to be able to cook different types of meals instead of having the same vegetable stew over and over and over and over again. So... That will be good. And he's all set there. Everybody's always got to go to the bathroom. Always, always, always. <laughs> but anyway, she everyone's feeling pretty good. This is good. You know, everyone's in good shape. Um, just trying to keep on top of their needs. That'll be good. And everything is going well. So far, so good on this year. I think we'll probably have the baby this year, too. So that's exciting. She was pregnant when we started the year, and the year is four days, and a pregnancy is three, so there we go. Okay, everyone go to sleep, go to sleep, and then um, we'll skip to the morning, but nothing is going on today, so let's once again get moving on uh, getting their food. Your wife is very hungry, Milo. Oh, and the sink is broken, okay. Yes, your wife is very hungry because she's pregnant. She's eating for two. You gotta, you gotta make the food. Okay. You guys are all set. Excellent. All right. So they're all getting something to eat. Oh, also Margaret loves the outdoors. That was her trait. So that'll be good because we're on a farm. Farming is important. Oh, I also forgot to mention I gave Bjorn starter funds, so I gave him 20,000 simoleons to go off and do his thing. I think we have enough money, um, and I don't want us to have so, so, so much money, so I don't mind giving quite a bit of it away. That's good. All right, why don't you guys go woohoo? Your fun's a little low. Oh, he's very angry. He's a fear of unfulfilled dreams. As do they all, always, completely. There's always some kind of fear problem. That's okay. I need to spend at least once every video complaining about how buggy the wants and fear system is. <laughs> Although I think I saw that there was like a patch for it. I don't know. 
Anyway, I haven't noticed a difference, so that's okay. Let's get everyone going here. She's tired. Oh, and she's hungry, and she has to go to the bathroom. Okay. You know, it's hard being pregnant. Not that I would know, but I bet it is hard on you. Like, it's a lot of work. You're doing a lot of work growing a baby. Anyway, it is now... I know it's not really bedtime, but everyone's a little tired, so we might as well <laughs> get them some rest. Yeah, you go, Margaret, playing with your toy. Alrighty. Yep, we're all going to bed early tonight, so we can wake up early. Anyway, it is the next morning, and now we are going to check on our garden. We can involve quite a few of our plants, which is really nice. I'm really excited about that. And... um. I don't know why I can't throw that away in there. Okay, so let's have everyone is doing their thing. Everyone is doing a different, um, like a different thing. And I am trying to figure out what this means. Make another Sim happy. Talk to another Sim until they become happy. But it's not really working. Like he does become happy, but it doesn't fulfill her requirement. And I don't know if that's because he became happy because another one of his moodlets expired. Oh, and then it worked. Okay. I don't really know what's going on, but they want a woohoo in the bush, and I'm just trying to get you to talk about your fears. Anyway, it is also St. Valentine's Day, so they're going to be flirty with each other. Why not? And they're the only ones who can participate in this holiday. Look at how cute they are. Oh, oh and they, they're just all set. I mean, they are so in love. It's great. They just always want to woohoo with each other, and their romance is so easy, and it's great. It really is great. Good for you guys. I'm glad that you're happy so far for now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, or am I? I don't know. Anyway, let's roll for the twins. Unfortunately, Roland did not survive his roll, but Johannes did. So one of the twins will be surviving. It's kind of a shame because Maggie can't even have any more kids until her husband gets back from war, if he gets back from war, unless he dies. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh, look, we can make rabbit stew. Okay. Let's do that. But yeah, unfortunately, one of the twins did pass away. I actually liked that there were twins, but it's like never meant to be. Twins don't survive very long. <laughs> or at least one of them doesn't survive. Okay. There we go. Everybody get some... You know what? I don't really understand how that's stew, but that's okay. I don't really know what it's supposed to look like, to be completely honest with you. Okay, you go to the bathroom, maybe take a nap, and you go hunting. And then I will start queuing up everybody to use the bathroom, because everybody's always got to go to the bathroom in this house. Alright, we'll have the girls play chess with each other. Honestly, we only have girls now. Milo's the only guy in the house. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yes, but uh, tomorrow we will be aging up Revna, so that's exciting. Hopefully she lives, but, it, you know, she's only got a 1 in 20 chance of not living, so I'm not really worried about her. Okay, you're all set. To... Everyone is going to bed. Happy 7.50. Oh, you got to go to the bathroom again. Okay, why don't you forage and go hunting? That'll be nice. Oh yeah, she's going to have the baby any time now. I thought maybe it would be nice for her to get into knitting or something because we have so many sims that it's really easy to get all the farm stuff done quickly in the morning, so I want them to have other stuff to do. Oh, okay, she's in labor. Here we go. And it's a boy. Could be our heir. Couldn't be our heir. He rolled a seven. Okay, <clears throat> that was too bad. All right, goodbye, my baby boy that could have been the heir but is not the heir. Oh, well. You know, you win some, you lose some. I don't know what we won in this instance, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's, oh, I forgot that you were, yeah, why isn't this working? Okay, Gen 3, uh, Morris was born, and um, we had a baby that did not survive. And one of the twins died. Did I mark off the twin in the family tree? I don't know if I did, but anyway, um, we did not successfully have our baby, which is unfortunate, but let's get some everyone something to eat. Moving along, everything's okay. You know, it happens. Oh, 
look at the whole family eating together at the table. It's so sweet. And yes, Revna's birthday. Very exciting. I like Revna a lot. I think she's a cutie. So that'll be good. And okay, well, that toilet's dirty, but he's also dirty. So why don't you get in the bath? Oh, and you made a puddle on the ground. You know, I just feel like maybe you could be less messy. Anyway, um, yep, it is the morning. Time to do morning chores. Oh, you're scared. Okay, everybody's always scared all the time. Okay, why don't you take care of the cow? Very nice. And she's getting the honey, and he is going to plant some more crops. That'll be nice. Very good. Okay, and we're all in good shape. Yeah, let's roll for Revna and Hugo. So they both survived their roll, which is really good. Let's just put them over here, Revna and Hugo. And then um, you, I guess you can go to the bathroom. I don't know why you're acting like this. Okay, and they both roll to marry. I don't know why that wasn't bolded. Anyway, we both roll to marry. <laughs> Um, let's age her up. Very good. We'll get her in creative sim. She rolled outgoing, and I'm going to make her academic. Yes, it's because she has glasses. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, so seven and six. Very nice. They both will get married a little later on. And let's um, just update her. Oh, I like this hairstyle with the braid across the top. Yes, okay. We're in good shape. So we're just going to give her a quick makeover. I've got to give her her glasses and all of her outfits. So we're just doing that really quickly. She's got the blue eyes like her dad. And I think she might have her dad's face shape. So that's nice too. Here we go. Just putting her in some outfits. Very nice. I, I don't really know what kind of outfit to give her. That honestly looks a little too fancy to me. So might change it to something else. But anyway, let's just get through this. Yeah, I didn't really know what to pick, so we're just winging it. And there we go. Okay, so she is pretty good, in pretty good shape. Yep, last outfit. There we go. Let's get a picture. And she is, she's beautiful. I love her. She's great. She is really good. Okay. So they are all set. Um... Start, yeah, I think we're going to give her a little story, so that'll be nice. A little story regarding her, like, romantic pursuits. Because I want them all to have a story, like, Bjorn will have a story, but it has nothing to do with him leaving to become a pirate. It will be later, you know, that something happens in his life. Like, not every, not every drama happens right when you're ready to get married. <laughs> Sometimes it happens later, so... There is that. Oops, you walked in on her in the bath. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let's do our maintenance activities. And it is time to delete a toddler and then age the other one up and have him join the club. So we'll just do that really quickly. I'm sorry, Roland. You were so cute. Goodbye, Roland. All right, and we're aging him up. And he rolled lazy. Oh, what a cutie. Okay. Just going to say that Roland died. And then we'll update Johannes. So let's just get his outfits really quickly. Got to pick a hairstyle for him. And of course, I put it in cold weather because I'm an idiot. And then here we go. Just I'm going to skip some of this because it's really not that exciting. I'm really just putting him in the same outfit for everything. Okay, let's update his family tree picture, and then we'll go back to the um, Manage Worlds and see if anybody else is in need of a makeover. It looks like someone in the Harlow family aged up, and also um, William aged up, William II, and I don't know what happened, so I'm looking for him, and I did not add his teenagerness to the tree because I'm an idiot, so or to the timeline. So let's uh, roll for him. He does survive which is good because <laughs> that would have been awkward. Um, and then we'll roll, I think, yep, he gets married. He's all set there. And 
um, William, and he will have how many tries? Five, okay. You know, I'm really getting middle of the pack numbers on all that stuff. And here he is, there he is, very handsome. And I'm just gonna update him as well. Good. And then we will move the nun out of the Harlow household now that Hugh is old enough to take care of his siblings. We'll give Hugh a quick makeover off screen. And um, yeah, so let's age up Hugo. And then he rolled foodie, so I, I guess I'll give him a food aspiration. We are going to uh, make him the lord now. He is now the lord. He's a teenager, so that is good for him. We'll give him a quick makeover. And here he is, very handsome. And then we will move on to the moment you've all been waiting for. At the end of every decade, I will show you the family tree throughout the ages. So here we are. This was from 1330. And it was pretty big already, to be completely honest with you. Um, but it just kept getting bigger. We added Genevieve to the tree in this one. And then in the next picture, it's just like a lot of aging up because we didn't really have that many babies at first. Or we weren't, you know, everybody was kind of done with their having children. So, um, but we did add Margaret to ours. And yeah, we, we kept having babies. Not really anybody else kept having babies, except Christiana had one more. But um, yeah, so then... Maggie had her twins, and then, you know, the second wave of Bennett children started having their children, and that was really good, and it's just really been a nice decade, and we weren't really impacted by the war. I think everything's going well, so I hope that you enjoyed this, and I will catch you in the next one.